to be jubilees as court fixed dates to hear P2B's case against Bola Metinimbu. Hello Nigerians, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Finally, P2B has been vindicated. A lot of, you know, he has been rejoicing with the supporters of P2B. They have been rejoicing because this is a moment they have been looking for. This is a moment they have yearned for. You know, the Supreme Court and the judicial arm of the government have stood firm to make sure that the mandate is returned back to the owner. As a matter of fact, P2B has filed a lot of cases against Bola Metinimbu candidacy. And now the court has finally heard the plea of P2B and his supporters. And they have fixed a special date for that. But Bola Metinimbu has known, you know, he knew that he is not the rightful owner of that mandate. That is why he has made every means possible. As a matter of fact, he has met his son and his daughters to beg P2B. And he has also made sure that he pleads with P2B, probably, you know, to endice P2B with a lot of appointments, a lot of, you know, things that is going to make P2B to change his mind and probably back out or withdraw his petition in the court of law. But P2B, as a man who has stood upright in all his dealings and a man who believes in judiciary and he has won a lot of cases in judiciary, he has once took INEC to court and he won INEC and he claimed his mandate in Anambra State while he was a governor. And this has made him to stand fit and his supporters are rightly behind him. Finally, the court has just fixed a date to hear the plea of P2B. The presidential election tribunal has fixed dates to hear P2B's case against INEC, Tinimbu, Shetima, and APC. The final date the court has just fixed are the 10th and the 12th and 13th of May 2023. You see, this is a glaring fact and that shows that P2B might, you know, reclaim his mandate because the proofs he has in his archive are so numerous to mention and probably if the court gets in view and probably you know get to view these petitions and see reasons why p2b is yearning that the election should be nullified and p2b should be um, bola metinibu should be dismissed and you know him installed as the president elect and this is invariably going to affect bola metinibu because his inauguration the apc is preparing his inauguration to be to be on the 29th of may now, the court has just fixed 10th, 12th, and 13th. If, paraventure, the court gets to nullify Bola Metinimbu, that means the inauguration is not going to hold on that 29th. But if, paraventure, the court gets to, you know, nullify Bola Metinimbu and orders a fresh election, that means an election may be conducted before the inauguration. And finally, P2B may be installed as the president-elect. The supporters of P2B are rejoicing. P2B is happy hearing this news at this point in time. You've now seen the verdict the court has given and the date that has been fixed finally. All the supporters of P2B get to the comment section, react over this, and also advise Bola Metinimbu that no matter what he's going to do, because I know Bola Metinimbu might you know, look for diverse means to make sure that the court towards or changes the date, maybe after the inauguration. Get to the comment section, react over this. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, so that everyone will see the exact date that has been fixed to judge or to bring a verdict over P2B, Bola Metinimbu's case. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I drop another trending video.